All right, now that I've recovered from the 59 minute engine pull, let's take a look at what we're doing here. So I am gonna need to access a bolt that's up here. Honestly, it's out of the car at this point. I may as well just do it. So we're gonna take this shroud off, 413s here, a couple tens up here. You'd have to remove the alternator and two bolts over here. And then we'll pull this off and we can actually see what's going on with our sensor. Okay, pro tip, don't forget the seven millimeter, not eight millimeter bolt on your flaps here. You have four 13s in the middle, two over here for the oil cooler, and that should be it. Let's see what we got. All right, now that we have got our engine out, let's take a look at the front of the Type 1 engine. Big difference in this and the Type 1 is the uh, Type 1 has the fan and alternator generator way up here. The Type 4 is totally flat. This is the fan. It shrouds up here and through the engine. So where we're actually going to be putting our sensor, our crank trigger, is behind this. So I've already pulled this off. It's got three bolts. Should we get one hand this off here? It has a nice snug fit. And then there is a washer. This is where the pulley for air conditioning would go if you had that on your car. Uh, now, if you have air conditioning, you'll need to talk to the dub shop about how to get this to fit. But I don't, and if I do, I will be going with a electric air conditioning. So this washer can come off. Our crank trigger is actually going to sit right here. And then our fan will sandwich that back in place. So let's take a look at the dub shop kit and then we'll see what I'll get it put in. All right, here's everything you get in the dub shop kit. You get some washers, you get these uh, special kind of long nuts, you get a bracket, you get the sensor, and you get the crank trigger wheel. So this has two positions, a one and a zero. Uh, they list the zero for Haltech and the one for like the dub shop kits that they put together. So um, I don't yet know enough about how that's gonna work and what the differences are, but we're gonna put it in the zero position on the uh, locating pin here on our little um, hub on the crank. So this bracket goes just like that. So we're gonna go ahead and take off the two 13 millimeter nuts, slide this in place, bolt that down, and then uh, we'll see about putting the sensor in the right spot, get it all lined up with the uh, crank trigger wheel, and then we'll probably try and turn the engine over to make sure that it runs uh, the sensor and it gives us the correct signal. Here's our trigger wheel. It is literally machined to say this side to engine. I don't know if you can read that. This side goes that way. We want number zero because we're doing a Haltech installation. So that's gonna bolt on there like that. And then the fan bolts will sandwich this in place. So the gap we're looking to measure is this gap right here. All right, so I'm just gonna use my calipers here. I'm gonna use the little pokey end and we are going to measure from there. Hold that on nice and straight. I'm getting that at about four millimeters. So I'm gonna bring it as far forward as I can and then we'll see what that looks like. forward let's remount this and check our distance i'm confident we brought it up at least uh two millimeters here so we'll pop that on we are now i would say now we're looking at 2.77 so the closest position is going to be the best uh, because this is really critical to the engine running i'm going to pop these nuts off 
make sure it's all the way forward and put some Loctite on it. And I'm gonna make sure that that is the correct orientation of this sensor. I've never used this kind of a sensor before in any installation, so I don't know if it needs to be out on the teeth on the end, if it needs to be closer in like this. The other thing we'll do is we'll go ahead and make sure that it rotates over, that this is nice and flat, straight, and there's not gonna be any chance of contact with our sensor here. So throw some Loctite on there, and then we'll take a look at this sensor. And there it is. That is the Dub Shop Type 4 Crank Trigger installed. Now, we are going to go through the test process. I've just temporarily kind of wrapped some uh, cloth tape on here. I got my wires coming up through my oil pressure sensor hole. Uh, other part I didn't show you is the distributor plug. Uh, we're going totally distributorless, and I wanted to put that in there before I took it out so it didn't drop any debris down into the distributor drive. So just cut a little o-ring piece and uh, took the clamp out, and that just sits right there. So. I've got my air gap just right. I've got my sensor. It is in the all the way forward position. I hope that is the right alignment of that sensor on the teeth. Um, but uh, I'm gonna get a battery set up. I will explain the process that they get. So I gotta get a meter, get a battery, get some alligator clips, and then we're gonna bump the motor over and see if we can get it to give us a signal. All right, let's explain the test rig. So since I don't have the fan on here, I just put some tape to keep this as far back as it needs to go. Here's what I got. I got an old battery, um, but got plenty of juice and I have my sensor hooked up. The red wire on the sensor goes to the positive. The black wire on the sensor goes to ground. The black and white wire on the sensor goes to the positive lead of my multimeter. And the black lead on the multimeter also goes to the ground. So what we are watching for is when the sensor is in between teeth, it should be at the source voltage, same as the uh, battery. When I turn it, let's see if we can do this with two hands here. When I turn it slightly and a teeth comes, it should be below a quarter of a volt. When I go to the next gap, back to source voltage. And so I am watching carefully to make sure that each tooth causes that, that effect and each gap gives me the correct source voltage. Now, I didn't take the plugs out, that was kind of lazy, but that's what we're looking for. So sensor hookup, red to the hot, black to the negative, white and black to your meter, meter grounded, and that is the setup. So make sure you take your time to do this. In my car, I'll be honest, if I didn't do it right before I put all this back together, the engine is coming back out, which I don't wanna do. So let's go ahead and button up the front of the engine here. I'm gonna go ahead and check that it goes around and that everything seems to clear and I'm getting that appropriate signal as I continue to rotate the engine here. I'm feeling pretty good about that. And we will button it up. Cool setup, cool product from the dub shop. Dub Shop Type 4 Crank Trigger Installed.